Okay, so this quick tip video is actually based on a previous video I produced last week on overlays. And somebody asked a question about, well, it's great and all, you showed us how to do global overlays, i.e. buttons that can be used globally on anything. But what happens if I only want my overlay to show up on a particular component? And that's a very valid question. I actually do this myself on a lot of the overlays that I create because they're contextual. They work for only certain components. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here. I've broken one of my own tools to then add this particular functionality on. And I'm gonna use the pathing tool in this case. And this pathing tool just is a very basic path and you can remove and you can insert points. But I only really want this toolbar, this overlay to show when I've got my path selected because it doesn't make sense when I've got the scene selected or the post process volume. So how do I do that? So let's jump into Visual Studio and you can see we've got our path toolbar class here that derives from toolbar overlay, very much like what was in the video last week. I won't bother going into the rest of the code, just go watch that video if you're interested. Now to make this contextual we actually need to have the iTransient overlay interface. And what the iTransient overlay interface does is it basically says to the scene view, it puts in a request for whether the visible property is true or false on this particular overlay. So basically Unity takes this and goes, does this have iTransient overlay? Yes, it does, great. Look at the visible property for this overlay. Is it true? Then I'll show it. Is it false? Then I won't show it. Very basic. So we need to basically implement this interface by doing public ball visible. And then that's going to have a get. There we go. And now what we want to do is we want to look at the selection and we want to see if our path is actually selected. So we'll go if selection.activeGameObject does not equal null, then selection.activeGameObject dot get component path does not equal null. And we'll return on this. There we go. And obviously if it was false, we return anyway. So, oh, there's the brackets in there. So all this is doing is it's saying, is there an active game object? And if there is an active game object, great. Tell me if that active game object has the component path. So we'll save that and we'll go back into Unity. So now we're back in Unity, you can see that our little overlay tool has actually disappeared. And that's because it's checking that visible property. If we press on path now, it actually comes back because it, again, it's checking on the property and that's saying, what's the active selection? Does the active selection have a path component, which this object does? Great, then show it. And that's all there is. That is how you make a contextual overlay.